Today, I will show you how to upgrade HDD drive to FS SSD without reinstalling Windows. And of course, for free. So let's get it started. So fellas, let's get into it. I've just removed SSD drive from this laptop and installed the old one HDD drive just to show you how to proceed because obviously many users have an old HDD drive and they want to upgrade to faster SSD drive. So fellas, we are in Windows 10. I want to remind you that this method will work on Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, and on Windows 11 as well. So firstly, we need to open our browser. For example, I opened Microsoft Edge browser, but you can use another one. Then you just need to type Disk Genius Download and you need to click on this website. Link I will leave in the video description. After that, we will download the installer. Also, you can see that it has a portable version. However, we will download this version. Click on free download. Now loading process start. So now we need to install the Genius. So click on open file. The installation isn't complicated. Just click on OK. Click on next. Also click on next. Before moving forward, we need to connect our SSD drive to our laptop. So again, we're going to use a SATA adapter. So everything is very simple. Just like a puzzle, you need to connect it. I think it's quite obvious. Like boom. So we successfully connected SSD to SATA adapter and now we need to connect it to a laptop. If you have an opportunity to use a USB 3.0 SATA adapter and USB 3.0 port, you can do this and it will work much faster. But also I want to talk about downsides of connecting by using USB 3.0 port. From my experience, I can tell that for some reason, if you use a USB 3.0 SATA adapter and connect it to some laptops that has USB 3.0 port, unfortunately, it doesn't recognize HDD or SSD drive in the system, it doesn't work at all. It may be a problem with a SATA adapter or with driver compatibility of USB 3.0 port. There may be several issues or problems, but what I recommend to do in that situation is to connect it to USB 2.0 port. If you have a USB 2.0 port in a laptop, you can connect the SATA adapter to USB 2.0 port. If you have only USB 3.0 port, you can use such a USB hub. So I will show you how to do it. Indeed, it will be not that fast as using USB 3.0 port. However, it will work. So let's give it a try. And surprisingly, it works. So we successfully connected our SSD drive to a laptop. After you successfully connected your SSD or HDD drive to a laptop by using SATA adapter, you need to run the Genius. So just double click on it. I will open it in full screen to make it more convenient. Ensure this utility will allow us to copy all information to our SSD drive, but moreover, it will save all our data applications and also drivers. I will explain quickly. We will navigate to the device manager and I will click here. All drivers, specific drivers for this model are installed. And as I said earlier, after migration windows, all drivers will be installed on our SSD drive. So one more time, I want to mention that right now we have a HDD drive and we want to migrate windows to our SSD drive. In this utility, you need to click on OS migration. Now you need to select your system partition. In many case, it is C drive, the drive with your operating system, in our case with Windows 10 Enterprise. So click here, then select OK. Now we need to select our target disk. Obviously, this is my SSD drive, Samsung. Just click here and OK. You need to click on your SSD drive, click OK. We have a warning that all partitions will be overwritten. I mean on a SSD drive because I have a Windows already installed on this SSD drive. However, it will erase all data. Then click on OK. My friends, we successfully copied C drive to our SSD drive. And here's the thing, my SSD drive does not have a lot of space because as you can see, the HDD has more space than SSD drive. If you have a small amount of space on your SSD drive, you can expand the space of C drive. So for this, you need to double click. 
and move it to the right. And that is all space will be only on C drive. However, if your SSD drive has 240 gigabytes or even more than 500 gigabytes or a terabyte, you can copy other partition to your SSD. And also to copy the drive to our SSD, you need to click on manage partitions, select add partition, in my case, I will select local disk D because I have C and D drive. If you have a H or a E, select H or E. Click here, select OK. And boom, we successfully copied D drive to our SSD drive. But here's the thing, in the past we allocated 80.4 gigabytes for C drive. So what I recommend you to do is to allocate the same space to your SSD drive. In my case, I have here 80.4 gigabytes. Click here, move it to the right. Or even though I can just type here 80.4, press enter. So we successfully copied C and D drive to our SSD. Nextly, it will be a piece of cake. You just need to click on start, click on OK, select hot migration. Now you just need to be patient and take your time. Here's some additional content behind the scene. As you can see, it's copying data from our HDD drive to SSD drive. You know what? Sometimes it's better to do nothing. After Windows migration, you will see this window. Literally, this is our operating system on a new SSD drive. So we need to close this window and we have a message system migration completed. Click on OK. Now you can close this genius. And of course, before moving forward, I recommend to safely remove your SSD drive. So click here. Now you can remove your SSD drive without any issues or problem from your laptop or PC. Just like this. And we need to proceed to the last step. You need to install your SSD drive into your laptop. Probably I will skip this moment because it will be different for each person. Every laptop is different. It is very important to remove your battery before disassembling the laptop. Do it like this. Quick video, I've just removed the cover and as you can see, this is HDD drive that I'm going to remove right now and on this place, I will install SSD drive. So the moment we all are waiting for, I've just removed the old HDD drive and installed SSD drive. So we just need to turn on the laptop, just like this. Will it run without any issues? And yep, it runs Windows 10. Friends, everything works without any issues or problems. You can see that here we have a C drive with allocated space, 80.3 gigabytes. And also we have a D drive and all our data is here. Even this video, Windows 10. The last thing that I will check is device manager. If we take a close look at the device manager, you may see that all drivers are installed and everything works and functional without any problem or issues. So once again, if you want to migrate Windows from your HDD drive to SSD drive or even from a SSD drive to another SSD drive, you can use Disk Genius. This is a free utility. It costs zero to do all the manipulation that I showed you today. If this video was helpful, please like it and I recommend watching this video on how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported laptop or PC.